Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Super important message today. Try to keep it short and sweet. I had a comment on one of my videos lately. Uh, I think it was a, a video about dating, if I remember right, that uh, got my attention and I wanted to address a couple things. If you think you're a victim, you're going to be a victim. An abundance mindset is critical. Do you want to be, do you want to win in life? Do you want to be successful? Successful people typically have an abundance mindset where they think that they're, they're flexible. They're not rigid in their thinking. They learn from others. They're very open people. They're assertive, but not asshole. There's a lot of different characteristics on successful people that I've noticed over the course of my life that are very common. I have never met a successful person that had a victim mindset. Never. Uh, what that is, is a scarcity mindset that everything is finite. There's only a so, amount, so much money to go around. You know, you know the type. Always negative, always pessimistic. I've never met a successful person that was like that in my life. You know, surely they exist, but I haven't seen it personally. So that's what I wanted to talk about. So the five words that will change your life. What good will that do? What good would that do? Ask yourself that question every single time that you feel upset about something. If you feel that you're being cheated, if you're a victim, what good will that do to be upset at someone else? You cannot control other people. You cannot control society. You can't control the economy. You can't control gas prices. All of these things are what people complain about when they have a scarcity mindset. What good will that do? Ask yourself that question every time you get upset. So for instance, driving down the road here, somebody's gonna come up behind me, might flip me off for actually doing a recording while I'm driving. What good will it do to get upset at that person? It's not going to change anything in life at all. I'm driving safe. It's all good. <laughs> I'm on an interstate. All is well, okay? You can go on your merry way. I'm going to go on my merry way, and I'm going to get home to the life that I really enjoy, okay? I want you to have a, fulfill a fulfilling life, a fun life, an enjoyable life. Thinking that you're a victim at all times and being upset and dropping negative YouTube comments on people on, on people's videos that are trying to help you, what good is that going to do? Okay. Something else that I've noticed with my, my content, I've only been doing YouTube for about six months, been doing coaching for about four or five years now, but in my entire life, I've been working on myself. Something I've noticed with my stuff, if I ever mention... Red pill, manosphere, MGTOW, incel. If I say any of those terms in my titles or my thumbnails, those are the, the videos that get disliked the most. I can see my analytics. Most of my material gets about 90 95% likes, which is, that's a good ratio. That's great. But whenever I go out, or I don't necessarily go after those people, but I'm trying to help you, okay? I'm trying to help you have a better life. Just being bitter and nasty online is not going to do you any good. What good will that do? What good will that do? Ask yourself that question if you're dropping negative YouTube comments on people that have good lives. Trying to help you, all right? Very interesting phenomenon that I've noticed. Uh, <laughs> One short that I put out just recently actually had those terms in the title and in the description said, I'm trying to help you. <laughs> and I think that one actually got a 65% like ratio. So, you know, it's all good. I like where I'm at in life. It's all good. I got thick skin. It doesn't matter to me, but I'm trying to get your attention. Okay. If you have a scarcity mindset, I want you to realize that Life is actually pretty good, all right? Uh, another part of the comments, I believe the, the guy actually said society is crumbling, and he blamed that on the fact that women didn't, didn't find him attractive. Well, maybe it's your attitude. Maybe it's the, the negative vibes that you're getting off. 
to the to the public and to to women and to girls maybe that's what's actually holding you back when it comes to dating just just my two cents okay society is not crumbling it is not crumbling if you think it is it's not life has always been hard frankly in america i don't think it's been any easier okay i don't think it's been any easier air conditioning <laughs> didn't exist until the 50s and 60s i mean i'm commuting i remember seeing patients on uh, the beginning of my career when i came to the south where they would talk about coming down from the mountains once a year in a wagon i mean these are people that were 100 years old telling me stories about coming to the city once or twice a year because it took them a week to travel to the city 40 miles you know i'm commuting right now between my office and my home it takes me about 10 minutes back in those days it would take all day things are not that hard things are not that hard and uh if you think they are stick around okay i'm trying to help you so why worry about things you cannot control that's the point what good will that do <laughs> five words okay had a patient today as a matter of fact uh she was going to be a great grandmother for the first time she'd obviously been watching the news too much and she started kind of going off and kind of venting a little bit about you know current events and stuff and she actually said that she felt sorry for her great grandchild coming into the world because it's such a bad place i don't want you to be like that okay please don't be that that negative that's that closed-minded be a positive influence be motivational try to help others it's it's what we're all doing here, okay? The, the point of life is to experience life, have friends, interact with people, and stuff and wealth and all of that other stuff just basically makes you more comfortable in the process. Plain and simple. It's all about, life is all about your people, okay? Leave a positive mark, okay? And that's my message. What good will that do? Ask yourself that every time you feel like you're being negative or if you're getting upset, ask yourself that question. You can avoid a lot of landmines in life. So there you have it. If you like this content, please like, share, subscribe. Just getting started, trying to get the word out. We really could use your help. People that have actually already subscribed, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So until next time, be better than you were yesterday and be desirable.